Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into an interesting topic in mathematics and physics which is the Fourier series. Whether you are a student, a professional or you just have a curious mind, understanding the Fourier series can unlock a new perspective on how we analyze and interpret signals and functions. So now what is a Fourier series? At its core, the Fourier series is a powerful mathematical tool used to break down periodic functions into simpler sine and cosine waves. By doing this, it helps us study these functions in a more manageable way, specifically in fields like signal processing, acoustics and quantum physics. The concept of Fourier series was named after Joseph Fourier, a French mathematician and physicist who introduced this method in the early 19th century as a part of his research on heat transfer. Fourier introduced a groundbreaking concept proposing that any periodic wave could be represented as a sum of simple trigonometric functions. Now why Fourier series is important? Fourier series isn't just an academic exercise. It has practical applications everywhere, from the design of musical instruments to electrical engineering and even in the analysis of tidal patterns in oceanography, Fourier series provides a critical tool for solving real-world problems. Now let's understand the basic concepts of a Fourier series. The main idea behind Fourier series is decomposition. Think of it as breaking down a complex sound into its individual notes. Each of these notes correspond to a sine or a cosine wave with a different frequencies. The Fourier series of a function is typically written as a sum of sine and cosine functions. Each multiplied by a coefficient, these coefficients are calculated in such a way that when the sine and cosine functions are added up, they reconstruct the original signal. Imagine you are trying to analyze a complex musical chord. Instead of, instead of hearing it as one sound, Fourier series allows us to hear and study each individual note that makes up the chord. This breakdown helps in tuning instruments, improving audio technology and much more. So let's use Python to visualize a Fourier series. So we will be uh, taking an example of a square wave. So square waves are common in digital signal processing and are characterized by their abrupt transition between the high and low values. So let's first import the necessary libraries for our project. We will be using NumPy and Matplotlib. So now uh, let's define the parameters for our square wave. Uh, let's assign a frequency of 5. Let's uh, set our sampling rate to 1000. Let's calculate the time series. So in this particular example, we set the frequency to 5 Hz, which means that the wave will cycle 5 times per second. We also set our sampling rate to 1000 Hz, ensuring that we sample the wave 1000 times in one second to accurately capture its shape. You might wonder why this sampling rate is important. Because of Nyquist theorem, you know that the sampling rate must be at least two times uh, the value of the frequency. So in this case, to better represent the wave, I have chosen a very high sampling rate of 1000. So now uh, let's generate the square wave.
So basically the np.sign function generates a sine wave and np.sign converts this into a square wave by outputting 1 for positive values and minus 1 for negative values of the sine wave, effectively creating our desired square wave. So let's uh, plot the square wave. So this is how the square wave looks. Now using Fourier series, let's reconstruct this square wave. So let's define the parameters uh, for the square wave. So in this example, I'm, I'm setting a frequency of 1 to better visualize uh, the sine wave. So let's start with number of terms equals to 2. Let's define the time series. So here the sampling rate is 2000. So let's also initialize the square wave array with zeros having the same shape as of t. This array will be used to accumulate the results of the Fourier series terms. Sorry, it should be like. So now let's use a for loop to calculate the Fourier series. So here in this particular example, we will be only having the odd harmonics. So basically this loop calculates the Fourier series approximation of the square wave. Only the odd harmonics for example the first, third, fifth etc contribute to the shape of the square wave. So here the Fourier series formula for a square wave is applied. Uh, with each term of the series is added to the square wave array. So now let's uh, plot the square wave. So I will copy this. So you can see this is how uh, the square wave looks if you have two terms. So now let's increase to three terms. So you can see it looks much better. So now let's increase the number of terms to 6. So you can see it looks much better. Let's make it 10. So as you can see if you increase the number of terms the Fourier series looks much better. Now let's make it 100. So as expected if you increase the number of terms you can, see, you can clearly visualize the square wave pattern. Now let's make this plot interactive where we will be changing uh, the number of turns and directly visualizing the graph. So let's use IPY widgets to make our plot interactive. So I have already written the code so I'll just copy it. 
So here I will be using IPY widgets to make our plot interactive. So here I am creating the interactive widget with the number of terms being the slider with the initial value of 1 and uh, the maximum value of 200 with a step of 1. So let's plot and see. So you can see this is how the Fourier uh, series looks. So this is the original square wave and this is if you take only for one term. So as you increase the number of terms, you can see that the Fourier series matches very well. And for large number of terms, we can see it reconstructs the square wave very well. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon in my next video.